Hi, in this slide we're, we're going to talk about when it's appropriate to give a praising statement. In the next slide we'll talk specifically about how to do it. Uh, a praising statement is appropriate when, let me get my little marker going here. First of all, someone has gone beyond the call of normal duty. Um, and uh, th this would include um, making a good new mistake. In other words, we're going to get into we can't grow and move and change and innovate if we're not willing to fail forward because nobody rides a bike the first time they get on it. So uh, we just accept that. And then people, and we, there are ways that we take fear out of trying to change and so forth. So we'll, we'll get into that later on. But the point is, is that we want to catch people actually doing a small little incremental bet experiment that failed. But it was a good failure in the sense that they thought about minimizing the cost and maximizing the learning and so forth. So that would all go into the praising statement. So we're, we're, if somebody makes a good new mistake, uh, making the same old mistake isn't so good. Uh, so that's why I put, I put new in here uh, from a well-designed experiment. Uh, it would be appropriate if a, a person has been a highly consistent role model uh, exemplar, a paragon. Uh, it's like they don't just come in and do the job. They really, everybody says, you know what? They're the best and, and bless them. They, they get in here early. They stay late. They're real pro. They're very conscientious about it. And they, and, and they're not, they're not uppity about it. They, they're just walking the talk, you know, they're, they're a great leader, by action. And so every once in a while we just have to say, you know what? You deserve another pat on the back in a sense or another published praising statement for just being the great role model that you are. The uh, third reason would be if a person has achieved a new measurable personal best. Now on a ranking report, you know, on a scale from one to 10, you know, if, if they're rated as a five and that's the lowest in the group and they move up to five and a half or six, they're still the lowest in the group, but for them, that's an improvement. So that we, we want to reward reaching a new level of plateau on, a, on, a, on an excellence path. Uh, so those are some examples of, of, of when it's appropriate to give a praising statement. You'll note that we're not giving praising statements to people who haven't had one in a long time and their feelings sort of left out and we want them to feel good so everybody gets a praising statement. Uh, I think a lot of public schools now are sort of guilty of saying, okay, everybody who comes out gets an A, everybody who does this gets a varsity letter, everybody who wants to be a cheerleader gets to be a cheerleader, everybody is the same, uh, when in fact that's not the case. So I don't know that, that there we're doing people a great service on teaching them how to learn. Uh, just my own little editorial praise. So we're not, and my philosophy is I'm not giving people praise and savings for showing up or doing the same old baseline activity on a regular basis and being a nice guy. Um, when you do a praising statement, uh, there are f several parts to it, which we'll, we'll look at in the next slide, but they're best given verbally, uh, spontaneously you see something you were you know you talk about it right there and ideally in front of other people because you want other people to realize oh you know what now that i think about it they did do something they did have their oar in the water they did pull a little harder a little better whatever you know what i'm encouraged this this thing, this boat may go or to think in terms of another way another metaphor if 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 our company was all about a giant flywheel and every employee basically had both hands of the flywheel and we're just pushing it with all our might to try to make it go and we start to move it very slowly and then we start to move hand over hand over hand and we keep doing that and the flywheel goes faster and faster one day it's just really spinning around like crazy someone comes along and says what's the one thing you did to get your flywheel your 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 wealth machine going so well and so smoothly with such great momentum you'd say there isn't one thing it was everybody hand over hand lots of small wins or pushes if you will that accumulated into having this great you know service machine that's going on uh, so as we document all these little hand pushes, people start saying, you know what? I think the flywheel is starting to move or could move. I'm encouraged to hop in and participate or keep doing it if I'm already doing it. Uh, so those are the more we can, and that's why I want to publish these things. You know, so even after it's been given verbally, it's still going to get recycled in the weekly uh, good news bulletin. Um, then um, if, you can, if you can deliver it with the right format, and it and it meets one of these qualities, then no matter how badly you deliver it or write it, 
it, it will it will be perceived as real. It actually did happen, and those are actual benefits, and it will be appreciated. Obviously, you know, we could you know do it a little bit better and so forth, and get a little bit more, you know, pop you know, psychological pop out of it. But, but the, the cane is very mechanical. You can, you can actually, as long as you can catch people doing something in those top three things and you can meet the four criteria of the format, which comes next, then it's going to work. So let's stop here and move on to, to actually how do we write and then deliver a good praising statement. Thank you.